Good evening. Let's do business now. I am Beverly Broom, Finance Minister Ken Furiata is attempting to rally a last-minute support for the domestic debt exchange program as deadline of February 7 approaches. Individual bondholders, as of today, picketed other ministries' premises to demand its exemption from the program. But giving an update today, Mr. Furiata said non-participation of bondholders could further jeopardize the economy. He other hand of no extension after the February 7 deadline. Since the first announcement of the DDEP, the government has engaged in good faith discussions and extensive stakeholder engagements of all groups in order to reach a resolution that ensures an orderly path out of our economic challenges, anchored by a sense of community and empathy. Ladies and gentlemen, these significant amendments have enabled government to reach an agreement with key major domestic creditor categories, including banks, insurance companies, capital market players, and foreign holders of domestic debt in relation to their participation in the DDEP. Undoubtedly, the participation of the banks, insurance companies, and the securities industry under the enhanced DDEP is a significant milestone which represents a response to a call to national duty. It is a critical step to restore macroeconomic stability, accelerate Ghana's economic growth under an IMF program, and leverage other international financial support. On the back of these recent developments, the comprehensive agreement of the key stakeholders and the enhancement of the DDEP, Government One expects the full participation of institutional stakeholders and mobilization of all qualified investors to ensure the success of the debt exchange operation. And two, encourages eligible individual holders to voluntarily tender their holdings. Frankly, fellow citizens, non-participation or a lower than expected turnout for the DDEP will prolong efforts to resolve the current economic crisis. In addition, the prospects of international financial support and other financial assurances will be jeopardized. The development could further put strain and stress on government's capacity to honor key commitments. This is not what we want for our economy. We'll follow this development keenly and then bring you updates in our subsequent bulletin. Now, the Ghana city continued its recent gain against the U.S. dollar, starting the week on a positive note. Checks by Joy Business at the Forex Bureau indicate the local currency gained 10 pesos today to sell at 10 cities 40 pesos to the American greenback. Here's more in this report. The recent gain by the CD narrowed its year-to-date loss in the retail market. The same story can also be said about the pound and the euro, as the CD is going for 14 CDs, 80 pesos, and 13 CDs respectively. Many market watchers and analysts are surprised about the sudden turn of the performance of the local currency, especially when the country's reserves have gone down drastically to about 2.7 months of import cover. However, the recent resurgence of the CD could signal that investors are very certain of an international monetary fund bailout program soon after the completion of the debt exchange program. The deadline for the domestic debt exchange program is expected to take place tomorrow. We take a look at some other stories now and the National Petroleum Authority says it will regulate prices of petroleum products under the Gold for Oil program. This will be done in the interim until the volumes increase significantly. The NPA said this will ensure that the prices of petroleum products under the Gold for Oil program reflect other pumps to benefit consumers. Communications Manager of the National Petroleum Authority, Mohamed Abdul Kudus, spoke earlier on the marketplace. The regulation in this sense is not um, what it used to be before the amendment in 2015. Uh, we we introducing this uh, measure this time around because of the commingling that the BDCs and OMCs are going to be adopted. What it means is that they have two sources that they are picking their food from. 
One is under the GFO program, and then the other one is under the prevailing market price. So what it means is that the prices would have to be weighted so they can arrive at an average and be able to sell either at the XLF or at the Expo. So the regulation is not as though we are putting aside the act or the petroleum pricing formula that was amended in 2015. That is not what we are doing at all. It's a peculiar circumstance that we found ourselves. And we need to adopt a particular measure that would allow us to arrive at a price that would get the intended benefit to trickle down to the consumer. And the marketers have agreed with us. They've had meetings with us. And we have an undertaking to ensure that this actually goes as planned. Precisely, I might not be able to tell when it is coming, but I know that the lake that they have, some are expected in uh, uh, February this month, some are, some are expected in uh, March next month. So that, that is what I, I know about it. Holding every other thing constant, and let's be mindful, the prices of the product on the international market can vary as and when they choose to, to, to do that. Okay. Open do not operate to our, our wishes. But holding everything constant, we are expecting that the Gold for Oil program would impact on the price at the pump uh, 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 so that it comes a little bit lower than we are buying it presently. Let's go to the Ashanti region now, where traders in the Swami municipality of the region are protesting alleged plans to demolish their market space. The agitated traders claim the local assembly has served notice to demolish the market without an alternative space to accommodate them. They describe the move as unfair after paying 30,000 cities to occupy shops in the market. The traders argue after years of plying their wares in other space, the demolition of the market will bring unbearable economic hardship. The resentful traders want the assembly to value their shops for compensation before any demolition and relocation. Stores, no, I must in the contractor bear for I will see sad a diner. I see a chirahano contractors, no, Obia one a Napata, Obia one a lace in a woman, Obia and contractor, Obia one a contractor. I will see ye. contractors for no best dino. Ye buy and I have a toss toss or catcher, I say, so on water, I have forever. It is torn out what was CSC on Wayan Kuman Kuma, but could be a thirty thousand Ghana cities. Yes, baby, I'm here. And one is a mutia, mutia, and I air corner. Why you want a yer corner? I quite do a sicker. Yer quite do my one. Yer quite a yer corner. Come and imagine your sicker. Your new sea patano cry, you know. The air pen is said, Yes, so I'm for your sicker, my eh. Says I do a missing hand was a nine hundred million. Me fear coming in. Me to me and San Quadi, no beam. Eight Miss Slamo. Monka be my normal face, sick am I almost put dinner, only this kind of my end, and try a baby and your man from normal boom. She said, I'm Muslim, which you and I have a modi yako. Muslim by Mutu, so I'm Mutu, so I'm Muni by Biamodi Yako. I come away, I'm Mutu, I must be a Hana Monka Cotana, Namunya, Juman Fancha, Mama, and there's a Mutu just like that. It is a Mutu just like that. It's here, and here, you don't go anywhere. I will stay there. If you tell me, say, eh. yeah. Dominic Eduberma of construction firm Jagan Enterprise has confirmed selling the shops to the traders at a cost of 30,000 Ghana cities each between the year 2013 and 2014. He says this was based on an agreement reached with the local assembly. According to him, the Swami Municipal Assembly can only demolish the property if the traders are properly relocated or compensated, else they will back the traders to sue the assembly. The assembly is yet to respond to the current concerns of the traders.
The municipal chief executive, Maxwell Lufusubwache, has however indicated the Assembly's plans to construct a modern market with the necessary facilities such as a police station and fire service department. Mona Lisa Frimpon reporting. On that note, we end business here. For more business news, you can log on to myjoyonline.com for slash business. I am Beverly Boom. Next is sports with Razak Musbaum. Please stay with us.